check went out. I mean, it just so, but I filmed it. I was asked to come to the Tunnel Hill, uh, Tunnel Hill up under the pretense of getting it fixed. And then when I got in there, I was ambushed and I was, you know, the the safety lady was like, well, um, you you was filming. Uh, she said you was filming and, you know, you you broke our policy. And I and that's what I was like. Well, how am I breaking policy if it's not in my hand? It's not in my hand, you know, but. The policy, the underlying policy was the fact that I was talking about their equipment in a bad light. That's the underlying. But what's on paper is that I broke company policy, broke their electronic device policy. That's on paper. But the underlying is, is the fact that yeah, I, I talked about the equipment in bad light. I mean, I made plenty of videos prior right. <laughs> prior to 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 that, you know, mounted on my head, mounted on my chest, mounted on my arms, and all like that. But I never said anything negative about the company until the driver tech incident. And that's when I was brought in, and that's when I was let go because of it. So, right, they were waiting for something. Mm-hmm. They're waiting for you to mm-hmm. mess up, and you did, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened. That's what I'm saying. All the technology, everybody's on TikTok, everything else. Oh, look at me, how cute I am. Look at this, look at that. Like, leave it alone while you're driving. You are driving a rig, you are responsible. That thing is no joke. It's not a car, it is not a car. You know, it's, you see it all day. Like, I live in Florida now, and man, oh, man, I hate driving down I-10. I'd rather take back roads any day. Any day. <laughs> then drive down I-10. <laughs> you say I-10 ain't no joke down there, huh? Dude, it is no joke down here. Absolutely not. Heck no. <sighs> man, too many. I mean, you could look at the rest areas and everything else even down here. Too, on the parking issue mm-hmm. they're all strand out whatever like oh lord and what is with hey move over if you see a truck or a car on the side of the road move over if you can if you can't slow, slow down. down at least slow down slow down if you can't get over don't just whip over and make cars go everywhere that's stupid You know, but you see these trucks on the side of the road, they're broken down. They may not have high time to get triangles out. I'm saying most of them are stupid and don't put the triangles out. Mm -hmm. You know, but come on. You you just got to think. You got to think a little bit more. You You know, no cell phone. You you honestly got to take this. uh, You you honestly got to take this job serious. You have to. You have to. And you got to have a clear mind. So if you're fighting with your girl, your boy, and this and that, you know what? Turn that ringer off till the end of the day. I don't care how mad they get with you. It does not matter. You have a responsibility of driving that rig. Whatever you may be hauling, you have a huge responsibility. So, you know, put it down. you got to have clear thoughts. You're busy watching those mirrors and what's in front of you, what's behind you, what's on side of you, what is out coming up in front of you. And, you know, I don't have anything on my license. You know why? Because I pay attention to what's going on. I'm in control of that risk. Yes. My number one thing is getting home safely and not hurting anybody else in the process and delivering my project or uh, my stuff, whatever I need to do. You know, it'll get there when it gets there. It will. But be conscious about what's going on around you and not about all this TikTok, Facebook stuff. Like, that can wait. Mm-hmm. You know, that can wait. 
That's what's up, man. Heather with the business, y'all. Thank you very much for coming on. Uh, I know you're a busy lady, and I do appreciate you giving me the time to uh, chop it up with me this Sunday morning, so I really do appreciate it. But before we get out of here, because you 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 kind of ended on on this note in your in your post, man. You said, uh, you said, hey, how about wearing some normal clothes and stop smoking pot? Smoke weed. Oh every my day. lord! What? What? what now? Okay. I, I know a I'm lot. Sorry. Of, I, I know a lot of. I know a lot of. Uh, a lot of new drivers that comes in our <laughs> Facebook groups. They they tend to ask that very critical, pivotal question, and that is, where can I go to avoid get doing hair follicles? If they don't do, if they don't ask that. They ask, you know, I smoke pot every day and all like that. How long would it take for it to clear my system? Yada yada yada. I understand that you we guys want to ask that. Out on the road. But what's your what's your stance on that? Let me tell you, we don't need y'all out on the road. When I first went OTR, I went with the very first for two months before I went to a mega carrier. I went with somebody OTR, right? Mm-hmm. Thought I trusted the guy. To show me the rope, show me everything was great. Talk back and forth for a couple of months. Mm-hmm. I thought it was all good to go. Mm-hmm. Me trying to be safe as a woman getting a mass truck. That was number one for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so get in that truck and he's messing with my e-log mm. because he has my password. That's a red flag. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Then he smoking pot. I can smell it on him, but it's not in the truck. Mm. I end up one day trying to go to do laundry. I take off my bed sheets off the bottom bunk. I find this big container under my bed, which I never knew was there. Mm. Under my bed. And I'm like, what in the hell is that? So I opened up. I was like, yo, whoa. I know what that is. Mm. Now I know why you're making me skip scales. Don't run scale house, you jackasses. Don't do it. Like, good Lord. Mm. You know? So, uh, I got out of that truck. He left me to go get his pot for eight hours one day. Mm. Left me in a truck stop doing my laundry. Oh, no. We're going back to Chicago? Okay. Hotel room. I'm out of here. I'm done. This is... I'm not doing this no more. That's... You know, pulling over... At night, so you could get out the truck and smoke pot. And I keep mm. waking up because all this rumble strip, rumble strip, rumble strip. Dude, uh, no. Like, that's wow. scary. <laughs> this, uh, now, this, this, wow. This is an extraordinary story right here for you that you actually was in, was in the truck with, with, with what was he, your trainer or, or team guy? <laughs> you you was interesting story there. You was in a truck. Both yep. of your license is in jeopardy with him on the truck. Exactly. Exactly. That's why I hopped out. There is no way. And suppose no you way. suppose you would have went down. All right. So funny story. Long story short, it was a young lady. She did. Uh, she she was she was uh down coming through Texas through the border, they had a dog, they had a drug-sniffing dog that actually caught wind of a small roach, meaning, you know, if you guys don't know what roach mean, it's a small it's a small piece of a uh, reefer. <laughs> um, but the dog caught wind of it, and she didn't even know that it was it was stuck in between the crevices of the bunk. So you say you was actually washing and you his his little baggie fell out? No, I was listening to you. Yeah, you you don't 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 carry anything. And you know what? Just because somebody else has it and they're doing it, even if it's not in your system, you're going down too. You are going down too, and that is your license. Do you want your license? Do you work hard for that license, or is this a joke to you? Because truck driving is not a joke. At least to me, it's not a joke. It's serious business. You don't buy 
bypass scale houses. You don't have drugs in there. If you want to smoke pot or drink beer, and for that matter, or do anything else, you know what? Park that truck. Go find a nine to five job. You have no business out on our road. I'm telling you right here, right now. Because we catch you, we see you out there. We're going to say something to you, and you ain't big and bad. Like, stop with the hoodies over the head. You know, it's like, we're not stupid who's doing it, who's not. There's enough out here to worry about driving a rig without you full yawns out there on the road. I'm sorry. Do that in your downtime, not while you're driving. Mm, that, is so, what's, that is what's up. Heather Larson, everybody. Thank you very much, ma'am, for coming on and chopping it up with me on the Lockout Man podcast show, where the best conversation starts over here at the Lockout Man podcast show. Heather, I really appreciate you giving me your time, and I really enjoyed your uh, your testimony and your stories and everything. I, I've, I honestly had a great time with you today. Well, thank you. I had a great time, too, and I just hope you know, if you want to become a driver or if you're that driver, just take responsibility into your hands. It is all about you, safety of you, your rig, and those others on the road. And do not let anybody, anybody tell you to drive a rig that is unsafe. That is your responsibility. You tell them no. Always wanted to be famous, just being real, yeah, just being honest. My haters won't always be naked. Give them no cloud, I give them no power. Creators of different they hate you, sooner than later, over the hours. I keep an eye out for the numbers, I stay in contact, synchronization. To infinity, even beyond it, I am a common, no destination. Always wanted to be famous, just being real, just being honest. My haters won't always be nameless, give them no cloud, I give them no power. Creators of different they hate you, sooner than later, over the hours. I keep an eye out for the numbers, I stay in contact, synchronization. To infinity, even beyond it, I am a common, no destination. A lot of things I am above, and there are a lot of things that are above me. Do not come for the people I love, cause then I get scary, then I get angry. Fatal, father, phenomenal, equation, presence, loaded, positive, patient.